Hey, how's everyone? I saw someone say, uh, hey, Goose, and uh, he's a first-time streamer, so I don't want... First-time chatter, so I don't want him to feel left out. Hey, Trader Joe guy. And there's also Tis Mayhem. How you doing? Um, there was someone that asked, did I lose taste when I had COVID? Yes, I did. And I lost... Some smell right I lost my hearing I lost my smelling I lost my taste hey thanks for the 50 bits <laughs> someone asked someone asked also uh, how do you donate or you can either donate via bits which is like the you you'll see it under chat is like a or no Right in the text box, the chat box, this is like there's that, that little crystal thing. You could donate through that. Or you could donate with the description below. Uh, if you're on mobile, I don't know. Fuck. Shit, that's loud. <laughs> Thanks for subbing Lemons Phoenix. Yeah, but you could also um, donate in the description. If you're on mobile, I don't know. Yeah, I lost my taste. I lost my... Uh, my sight, my hearing, my everything. I got it back. I got my taste back. I'll tell you what, like, bologna doesn't taste the same, though. Which is probably a good thing. But everything else feels fine. I heard there's, like, some people who, like, when they eat meat, it tastes like corpses. It tastes like rotten flesh. Is that true? I don't know how much of this shit is, like, hysteria. All I taste is, uh, left freezer burn. You said Tiny Tina's Wonderland is gonna suck. Is having no taste a permanent symptom of COVID? Yeah. I also said fucking, uh, Elden Ring sucks. So I don't know, man. Ever since I got COVID, I've been just having bad takes everywhere. I think Sifu looks good, though. Did one of the mods from last stream give you the list of requested videos and channels? Yes. But I don't have it anymore. <laughs> so we're going to have to start from the top. Somebody gave me a... Um... Yo, Goose, what's your opinion on JoJo's Bizarre? I fucking love JoJo. Um, but I should clarify. Because I feel like <clears throat> me saying I love JoJo is like the equivalent of me saying I love, like, bread. It's like everybody likes bread, right? I love JoJo. I've been loving JoJo since I was in middle school. So, like, around, I don't know, 20 years ago. Yeah, I remember reading um, my first JoJo was Golden Experience. What are you getting? Have you played Hotline oh. Miami? No. I'm not into roguelikes, sorry. Well, some of them I'm not, but. Wait, is Hotline Miami a rogue? Well, I never played it, so I don't know. I was never really interested, but I, I probably would like it. But anyways, I, wa I I played the first... I read Golden Experience, or Golden Wind first. Before I read anything else. Because I remember seeing a Flash game around 2005 or 2006. And I was like, oh. This Flash game is really interesting. What's it about? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? The fuck is that? I looked it up. And like Google search back in 2006 was like... Ass. It was dog shit. There was, like, no filter. So when you look up JoJo, it gives you, like, random images of, like, Giorno. Thanks for the 100 bits. Mm -hmm. Um, by the way, thanks for the 100 bits, uh, big man. And I fucking, uh, yeah, I just started with part five, and that was probably the worst one, because back then, in 2006, there were practically no translations for the JoJo manga. Except for part three and part one and... No, just part three, I think. Because the OVA was very popular here in America. But it wasn't... But that was it. So part five was reading it through, I think, a Chinese student's English project. So his English project was like... That's where the Dewan, Dewang memes came from. It came from like some kid in China... Who really liked JoJo and wanted to retranslate it in English 
for his English project. And that's how we got the Duong meme. And that's how we got Part 5's horrible translation. Uh, and that's that's what I had to deal with. And I was like, oh, I love JoJo. And then I just read from part... I didn't even know there were parts. So, I just starting with Part 5 was like the worst one. But it was my favorite one for the longest time. Until I reread it like six years ago. And I was like, oh, Part 5 sucks. <laughs> it's not my favorite. Oh, so speaking of Duong, I'm fucking chewing, aren't I? What a beautiful Duong chew. But yeah. Alright, see you later, big man. By the way, if you're following me, you won't see a notification anymore. Last stream we did, we had notifications on for uh, followers. It was a mess. It, it made everything delayed. So now I only have notifications on for um, donations. So, sorry, y'all. All right, I just got to do one thing before we start. How's your day? It's been good. Actually, that's why I've been I was late. Because uh me and Jelly woke up like around 2:30 and I was like, "Fuck." Well, that sucks, but we went to a coffee shop later and we enjoyed it. Uh not really actually. We we had like matcha and the matcha was ass. We had to put like a lot of sugar in it in order for it to taste like anything. But other than that, the walk was nice. Hey, so oh, that was doxing me. Nor no, Norancio was my favorite fucking JoJo character for a long time. I had a crush on that motherfucker. Until, well, <laughs> whoops. So, you know what I mean? If you know, you know. <clears throat> Alright. And then public, and then... Alright. Did I watch Ava 4.0? I did! Like, last summer. I was fucking good. I felt so relieved for Shinji. You know, it's... You're either the type of person who watches Evangelion and loves everything about it but Shinji, or you love everything about Shinji. I, I fucking love Shinji as a character. I've never... I never seen an anime character so relatable before than Shinji. Is the fart button set up yet? Nah. Nah, I didn't fix that. What's your opinion on Lady Dimitres? Overrated. She got a nice ass. Other than that, not much going on. Just another tall white bitch. I'm trying to open this bottle. My brother hates everything in Evangelion. It's not for everyone. Ugh. First time stream. Let's go. Well, I'm glad you're here, everyone. We're going to watch spooky shit. I'm going to close out everything that I was looking at before. Um, let's go ahead and go to... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's go and uh, celebrate Chinese New Year's, everyone. How's it going? We're here at Chinese New Year's year. This is going uh, Welcome Minty the Frost Cato, Frosty Cato. I started watching Evangelion recently. So far it's been really good. It is good. Just people really don't like Shinji. I feel like... Jelly and I have talked about this. This is like... The reason why most people hate Shinji is because they see a lot of themselves in that character. Because everyone wants a power fantasy, right? They want like a big strong anime hero or a big titty anime hero. Uh, and if that's not what they get, they're, like, mad. But Shinji's so relatable because she's he's such a pathetic, whiny, depressed, anxious motherfucker. And if you really... Bro, if you watch Evangelion, you can tell why he's like that. That motherfucker gets everything thrown on him. He has this weight of responsibility that he can't even expect to meet. So when everything finally collapsed in Evangelion 4... And I'm not gonna spoil it, but that when that ending happened, I felt very relieved. I felt happy for my boy. So yeah, that was a beautiful ending. I fucking loved. It. I cried. That shit was awesome. Yeah, yeah. They expect him to to save the goddamn world, and he's a kid. He went to 
that place to meet his dad. And his dad immediately threw him under the bus and was like, hey, get in the fucking, get in the fucking mech, Shinji. Everyone expects so much out of him. Even the audience expects so much out of Shinji, which is why most people hate Shinji. Because they expect so much out of him. It's not like that, though. That's actually the point. Anyways, whatever. Yeah, let's start suggesting. Give me give me all your suggestions, everyone. What you got? What's your spooky shit? Are you caught up in the new season of Demon Slayer? No, no. I, I was waiting for all the episodes to come out. People love talking about that shit, though, weekly, so it's like, what's the point? I've been also waiting for AOT. But, I haven't been spoiled yet. But damn. Was the water hot? Thanks for subscribing. Alright, if y'all got spooky shit, give it to me, because I, I, I have nothing. I, I mean, I have a few things. Let me see your heart can... Find what we got. Okay, we got one. Oops. What the fuck is that? Have you watched Mandela? Oh, we right. I talked about watching Mandela catalog. The cheeseburger is not making me dinner life is good. <laughs> what? All right, I can on final farm, right? Hey, Goose, missed you. Hey, cool, Kevin. All right, let's actually start with that. Let's do the Mandela catalog. Because we've been talking about it, and I only give it like a quick glance. I saw that um, Nexpo was about to talk about it, so I was like, eh, I'll, I'll let him talk about it. I, there's no rush. I really don't want to rush into, like, making content. So. Um, alright. Let's start with that. You should change the stream to an ASMR stream. Uh, I don't know. Do you think I'm an ASMR stream? It'd be cool to just like talk with y'all. But I don't know how many people would actually want that. Any advice for people still in school? Mm. College or high school? If you're in high school, don't take anybody shit seriously. Because I promise you, high school is so temporary that it's not even going to affect you later on. Uh, just do good if you want to get to college. Or just do average if you just want to get to work. Um... And, uh, yeah, don't, don't give a shit about what people say about you. Don't, don't give a shit about what, um, teachers say about you. You are your own person. You're your own identity. Nobody, what anybody says about you is not who you are. You know who you are. Just do good. Other than that, um, you know, if you're gonna... <laughs> I shouldn't actually, I'm not going to say anything <laughs> about relationships and such. But I'm just saying, be careful with that shit. You you don't know what, what the fuck is going to happen. After you're out of high school, practice safe sex. Safe sex. <clears throat> don't date under uh, anybody under 18. All that shit. Mandela catalog, a little boring to be honest, but the lore is cool. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's go. I don't really know much about it. I... I don't know. I feel like this launched... Like, most people's perception of uh, analog horror. Because, like I said, I haven't streamed in a long time. And this came out around the time that I stopped streaming. And then after that, it was just nothing but analog horror for, like, six months. Right, this might be echoing. I need to get my headphones, so... One sec, I'm just gonna mute myself.
boy bedroom, there was a woo bed named Mary, who lived in the city of Belirith. She was in love with a bed named Gully. Mary was a bed of her team, but she got a very special message from a bed named Gilly. Sorry, I had to stop because I realized that that voice is like an automated chills. Mary and it will be wrong. That's fucking stupid. Turn subs on? Oh, okay. Is that part of it? it she was in love with a man named Joseph. <laughs> Sorry, it just sounds like it, bro. <laughs> I've come to bring good news. News? Bro, this is just a YouTube poop. Oh, wow. You see, this is what most ARGs look like nowadays. And I, I feel bad because a, a lot of you guys suggest so many ARGs that are so similar to like Mandela Catalog and yet somehow Mandela Catalog got the most attention and I feel like if I just give attention to a certain ARG that you guys suggest it will be probably just as popular but I don't even give it a chance because it's like they're, they're all the fucking same oh that's creepy I love that At its best, Mandela Catalog is really good. But at its worst, it's kind of shit. That's funny. Ayo, but Gemini Home... Okay, uh, we'll, we'll check out Gemini Home Entertainment, too. I've heard about that, too. Last stream, you guys kept talking about that one. How was school food back then for you? Shit. It was shit. I'll tell you what, though. My high school had a subway. And um, that was alright. I don't know why I had a subway. <laughs> Yo, look at the wand. Mm, Dramathon 2022 school food. Y'all had bad shit? But like, tell me how bad it was, because I really did not eat that much school food. Like, if you were broke, they give you free food. And you know what it fucking was? Peanut butter and goddamn jelly with bread. That shit was dog shit. I have no fucking clue why the fuck I even need to pay for my own food at a school. I'm a fucking child. Why don't I get free food? What the fuck? What the fuck? How am I even gonna get food? Uh, how am I gonna get money? I'm a child. I can't even get a job. You're asking my parents to pay for my fucking food? Anyways, that kind of sucked. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, wh which one was it that people really liked? Oh, it was volume one, wasn't it? That's the one really uh, that people really, really liked. Oh, it's just gone. It's age restricted. There you go. Yeah, see, Nexbo said I like this, so I knew I, as soon as he said that comment, I was like, I'm probably not gonna get too much into this because I know he's probably gonna do a better job at this shit. Yeah. 
Oh look, even MatPat did this. Yeah. Oh. Mm. We checked out Backrooms last stream. I really do like Backrooms a lot. I will say that these, this is really fun. I love the idea of mimics. And the idea of like people who look exactly like you. I think that shit's really creepy. There's this myth that people believe of um, doppelgangers. And the myth is like if you see a doppelganger, um, it will. Uh, it, it, your doppelganger predicts your own death. And so that's why you shouldn't get so close to your doppelganger because you will know how you die. No, doppelgangers are definitely not used enough in horror. Even now, with this whole trend of, like, skinwalkers and, like, alternates because of Mandela catalog, people, at most, just have, like, a TikTok video of them going to the woods and then they hear their own voice and it's like, oh, that's so creepy, I haven't seen that a fucking hundred times. Hello, Chabaco. So, oh, this is a lot like that one uh, horror uh, video of like, what is it like? Uh, it, it it was like a PSA of like uh, the United States getting uh, taken over and everybody's like, kill yourself. Yeah. It's, it's exactly like, oh my God. It's exactly like that. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Local 50. I, th I think it was local 50. It's literally like that. They're even using the same music. Hi, I'm new. I found you from YouTube in your Halloween se uh, season. And I was wondering what you think about horror movies. I want to be SFX horror makeup artist one day. I don't want to know your opinion and all the gore and shit. Gore is super fun, but it can definitely be overused. It just depends on what kind of movie you're making. If you're making a movie... This shit's horrifying, by the way, but I gotta say this. If you're making a movie that's, like, totally about gore, and that's, like, the fun part about it, then, yeah, go 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 nuts. But if, like, if you put an excess amount of gore in a movie that doesn't really ask for it, then it doesn't matter. I just feel like more horror movies should use gore in their movies, because I think we shied away from that, because we don't want to have R-rated movies anymore. I don't know why, but... Uh, have gore. I miss gore. I haven't seen gore since like 1990s. Even then, man, it was really... Yeah. Finally found this creepy trailer edit. Someone made just an entire channel of trailers for crime news stories. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and... Have a different browser over here so I can continue taking suggestions from you guys. Oh, wait. Is this the part of the... I think I've seen this part of the video where it was like, Oh man, those creepy faces were really creepy. I love that. Like... I'm sorry, I, I barely talked about it, but, like, this shit is fucking awesome. Like, I know they're simple Photoshop edits, but, like, stuff like this is is really well done. But I think this part where they start taking the phone call, I think that's the part where I started laughing because the acting was kind of shit.
No, it's fine. Don't worry. Yep. What's up, baby, right? Yeah, it's not me, it's my mom. She's knocked out cold, but I have no idea why. I'm on my way to the yard, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the camera here and set up. You know the ones that we installed out in the garage? Oh, yeah. Would you mind if I ask why? Well, she screamed really loud right before I found her in the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? Like with the broadcast built into the Yeah. The acting's not great. I'll turn up the volume, sure. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. Alright. I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the house. See, this is the part about... Okay, that's the part about analog horror I don't understand. Is this suggesting that the VHS tape itself is haunted? Or, like, what? Because I don't understand. Like, aren't these supposed to be government official... Like, distribute... <laughs> yeah, that was like Jerma. <laughs> was that actually him? That looks like it. It's not him, though. You got different cheekbones. That man's got cheekbones of an angel. But no, like... Is that what it's supposed to be? Because aren't these supposed to be, like, government-issued, uh, like... Videos given to every household? And, like, the every tape is haunted? Like, I don't get that part. Is this Ringu? I don't know. It's creepy. I just don't get it. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. You know, I was talking to this about, like, with the Jelly. I think you guys misunderstand why I don't really like analog horror. It's not that I don't like it. I actually really respect the fact that there's so many people nowadays that are into it. Like, I think that's crazy good. Because this is, a, a lot of these are just young people who really love VHS tapes and the aesthetic of, like, the 90s and 80s. And I think that's awesome. I think that's cool that we're getting this new brand of horror. But, it, it, so much of it is so not realistic and confusing that it's, it's, it's not immersive for me. And it, it, it just doesn't make sense for me. I'll agree. Yeah, Japan, Japan does found footage shit so well. And like, if you want any found footage film to be good, watch any Japanese one. Watch Noroi. That shit was awesome. Ringu analog Ringu was analog horror. That was really good. Even the Ring, like the the American remake, that was pretty fucking good too. I just wish they focused more on the VHS stuff like Ringu did. I don't, yeah, it is like the local 58 effect. It, it's like if local 58 did it, then we can copy it. They're copying from local 58, which I feel like is the best emulated am analog VHS horror out of any of them. But they're, they're, it's like a poor imitation of a poor imitation. You know what I mean? I don't want to complain too much. I, I do like analog horror. Just not as much as I think I would love to. Are you a fan of Gravity Falls? I've been re-watching it recently. It's amazing what they left. Uh, Alex, get away. No, I haven't seen it at all. Me and Jelly have been talking about watching it, but I don't want to subscribe to Disney+. Plus. What was the, mm, the movie that I said was good was Noroi. N-O... R-O-I. I think Noroi is on Shudder. Like, that's creepy, but why? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, no. <laughs> you guys don't understand my fucking frustration. Why? Okay, is this... A phone call we're listening to? Is this a videotape recording from the audio of the videotape recording? Is that distortion from the VHS getting corrupted? Is it cursed? Is this, this fucking text right fucking here. This is the kind of text you write on your VHS camera when you're recording something. So like, who wrote this? <laughs> 
It, I thought we were watching a VHS tape of, of like, like a, a PSA. So now it's found footage? I don't get it. Uh, like, that's why it's, it's, it's. I don't know. I feel like I'm a bitch complaining about this shit, but I can't ignore these, like, inconsistencies. It, it really gets to me because I grew up with this shit. You know, I grew up with VHS tapes. I used to take VHS video all the time, so, I, like, I don't understand why does this exist. Is it... Cur I don't know. <sighs> Have you seen uh, Penguins Zero? You mean uh, Critical? No, I haven't... Uh, has he... Did he do one? Hey, thanks for the dollar, sorry, dude. I'm gonna yeet my PC out the window. I'm My stream keeps crashing. Ah, I don't know, man. I'm sorry about that. Maybe it's found footage of the PSA. <laughs> I don't know. Uh-oh, bad decision, Mark. See, now it's a different text, so that implies that they didn't write it on the VHS camera itself. They wrote it post in a different program. Why? I don't know, because it's creepy. That is fucking scary, though, I will say. that. Like, there are elements about this that are so fucking good. Like, it's so fucking creepy. I love it. But it, it doesn't make any fucking sense. You understand my frustration, chat? Do you understand? I, I don't know. Man. Man! I wish I could love this so much. Ah! Whatever, I'm drinking this. I got this, like, cocktail mix. I'm gonna drink it. When he recognized the photo... Actually, I know the photo sources. I remember... Um, if you could humor me for a bit. This image right here? Where is it? It's like... Where is it? Like right here. Like if you were uh, a kid during the Dare Age, which is like the '90s or 2000s, you would know that these are like images of uh, people who go through crack or whatever. You remember when like Dare was a thing, and these cops were like, "You don't want to do drugs. We're gonna show you slideshows of of drugs and the effects it could have on people." This is one of them. This is like one of them. This is like a lady who used to take like coke or heroin or whatever the fuck they said. Or weed. Oh. You know, and then they, they will show you this normal picture of this lady. And then, oh no, two days later after taking weed. Oh my god. Oh, hell no. Alright. <laughs> she did weed. One. Yeah, they, they were really go hard on weed. Like, crack cocaine, and, like, heroin, and, like, uh, uh, ecstasy. All those I understand. But they made it really seem like weed was the thing that would kill you. There are three, and only three, scenarios that you will handle with a caller. Police. When a caller needs the police. Okay, so now it's not found footage? Now it's like... What is this? caller has a fire-related emergency, contact our neighboring fire department with the address and a brief description of the event. Look, and that's not even... What the... caller has a fire-related... That's not even from the 90s. That's just straight... <laughs> that's just straight up like... Footage from the 70s from, from like a Super 8 camera. This isn't even VHS anymore. Like, you understand why this is frustrating. <sighs> like, that's what I'm talking about. This is like... Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking fart. I just... This is... You gotta suspend your disbelief, but I can't because I grew up with this. This is real. It's not like 
It's not like Harry Potter shit where like, oh, fucking Leviosa, motherfucker. I can suspend my disbelief about that, but I lived through VHS tapes. Is that how they are? I don't know, man. It... Oh, fuck, man. I'm old, yeah, I'm old. I'm 60 year old. How long is this video? Fucking too long. I'm, okay, I'm gonna, I'm sorry. If you want to check out Mandela Catalog, you can. And I feel like it is a good thing that we're getting back into, uh... That we're getting back into analog horror, like VHS, like the stuff that I grew up with. I think that's admirable that so many young kids want to get into that shit. But do it right. <laughs> I'm sure the person who made this is probably, like, 37 years old, right? But, like, parts of it is, like, not... It takes me out of the immersion. Like, it's supposed to be as close to realism as possible, and I understand that. Like, I can totally forgive the text changing and everything like that. Or, like, even the creepy automated voice, which, like, did not exist back in the 90s. Or, or I mean, it did exist, like, late in the 90s, but not when VHS films, you know, were skyrocketing and whatever. Um, so, I, But I can forgive that. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I can suspend my belief for that shit. I don't care. But the problem is that it, it, it turns from found footage film to call to instructional video to PSA and then back to found footage. It just doesn't make sense to me. And then they start showing like footage, stock footage from a 70s like PSA from a Super 8 camera. Or, like, something like that, you know? Oh, he's 18 to 19? Oh, really? Well, you know, like I said, it's still admirable that he's trying. I, I like that, but it, that's part of the analog horror that I don't like, is that it's not immersive to me. It takes me out of the immersion, because I know most of this is does just doesn't make sense. Well, anyways, let's let's see criticals. Actually, Ochabaka, let me see. Is this the one she's been suggesting for a little bit? Oh, what is this? I don't think I can show this because of uh, copyrights. I think it's just memes. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> no! The kitten cat. The kitten cat is dead. Alright, well. We got this. Oh my god, it's her. Oh my god. Oh, it's a catalog of different videos? Is that what it's supposed to be? Sure. Oh my god. The fuck is that? I like the hair, yeah. This is made in Blender? I don't think so? I don't think so. No, this is this is found footage, motherfuckers. I found this footage. Oh! I wish I could understand what's going on. This is just Japanese. Yo. Is this an Adult Swim bumper? Yo, I would fucking freak out if I saw this shit on Adult Swim just in the middle of the night. Like at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what the fuck is that? This is moth politics. Let's get down to business. White Moth doesn't like what Black Moth believes in. Black Moth is part of the left wing communist party. White Moth, I mean, do I need to explain what White Moth believes in? Black Moth supremacy. Let's go. 
That has to be someone's fetish. They're actually having like- Oh my god! Oh, wait, wait a minute! <laughs> it's a little much. Oh my god. Yo, that white moth though, he, he was spitting. What is this shit? Oh, there's actually- Who- Who the fuck made an account? There's someone in the chat named Mothman's Butt. Who the- Did you just make that account just for this shit? If not, that is fucking funny. That's hilarious. Love him or hate him, he's spitting facts. White moth, man, I don't know. Leaning towards what he believes in. Look at that wink. Jizz moth? <laughs> Michael Jackson Mark. Alright, who can speak Japanese? Uh, translate live on air. Oh my god, is that the fucking infinity box? That's the Tesseract right there. The Hypercube. The Formic Cube. The Rubik's Cube. It's the Fortnite Cube. The Time Cube. Oh. Wait. She got four arms? What the f- Whoa. She legit got deleted. Damn, Black Moth do be vibing, though. Damn, Black Moth do be vibing, though. Just joined. What did I miss? The greatest debate of our lifetime. Look at that! I don't even know how they did that. Well, I forgot that they did that. Yeah, they're vibing. See, that's what this country needs. Unification between the white moths and the black moths. Yo, moth rap battle? <laughs> Epic rap battle of history. White moth versus black moth. What the fuck? Yo, there's like little tiny Sun Gokus with communist flags on their shirt. No, oh, there you go. That was that. Click it? You really want me to click it? Alright. If it even pops up anywhere, there you go. Alright, what is this? Oh my god, that's how I actually look like now. I want Fat Goose to look like this. I'm gonna send a reference photo to Jelly. I'm not even kidding, dude. He looks cool. Someone drew Fat Goose on you. Oh no, I did. I saw it. That was charming. I loved it. Oh, hey! It's Stalin? Or... Freddie Mercury. I saw, I saw Fat Goose on the subreddit. That was really cute. I 
I'm telling you, this is Fat Goose's like base model now. Where's Dwayne the Rock? <laughs> you spelled Dwayne wrong. This is Dwayne. That's Terminator. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Was that Hitler? No, maybe. I, I don't, I don't know. Oh, was that Mao? Was that Mao? German Mao? That's Putin. For sure. That's Hitler. One of these are Mao. Hold on. I don't know who that is. Hitler. I feel like this is... I don't know. Blonde Putin. Maybe Kim? Yeah, maybe it is Kim. This is the greatest fucking video I've ever found. Sorry, we gotta see these lyrics. Hold up, you, you you can't be you can't be vibing without the lyrics. Come on now. This is actually a a fucking vibe. I like this song. This is what happens to your brain when you take one weed, and you will die the next day. He's Hitler salu- <laughs> He's Hitler saluting? I never heard anyone call that a, a Hitler salute. <laughs> oh, there's more! Oh man, we're just gonna go Japanese! Let's go! There's more of this shit. Is it from the same channel? It is, yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's go, man. I'm down, let's- Watch Japanese horror weird memes all night long. Let's just do that. Can someone translate what Chewbacca is saying? Thanks. Huh. Isn't that Donkey Kong's down smash? The internet suddenly improved, so I came back again. Ah. Welcome back, Chewbacca. You can read the lyrics, but I have no idea. Then you can't read the lyrics. <laughs> I understand what you mean. How you doing, Gus? I, you know, I'm vibing. I mean, check out the shit I'm checking out. Yo, this is the Mandela la uh, catalog of Japan. Yo, if you weren't here for the past hour, this is what we've been watching. Holy shit! Whoa. Okay, probably an epilepsy warning there. I don't want anyone to have a seizure. Is everyone... If you got epilepsy, you got like... 10 seconds till uh, I start playing again, so... Just like, look. Look away. And then when I say you can watch again... Uh, you can watch again. Alright, ready? 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Damn, that really fucking bright, though. That makes my head hurt. <laughs> I'll make it small. Oh shit, I didn't make it small in time. I hope nobody died. Yeah, let's make it even smaller. That's crazy. Okay, good. Back at it again with the vibes. Peep the horror. <laughs> you guys want to peep the horror? But here it is. No, I'm just kidding. 
This shit is hard. I mean, this goes hard, really. Yeah, it's gonna be flashing again soon. Is this pineapple pen? Do people in Japan like pineapple pen? Like, because I feel like it's really annoying over there. Damn, he's, he keeps doing the down smash. Let's ask Japan Reddit. Okay, we're about to go back to Seizure Land, everyone, alright? We got like 10 seconds, okay? <laughs> okay, I put it back down. I'm gonna get even smaller. Is this Mandela Catalog? Yeah, this is Japanese Mandela Catalog. Mandela Catalogu. I should just have this playing 24-7 at the bottom of my streams. This is booty shaking music, yeah. Alright, back at it again with the vibes. Damn, I love the way he thrust. The new Gorillaz album. It, it really does sound like a Gorilla song. Dude, who is this guy? He makes some poppin' fucking music. If anybody wants to subscribe to him, like, please be my guest. He's so cool. What the fuck? He's got another one? Swab, swab, swing, alien? Sorry, but I'm fucking fascinated. If you're not, I mean, get out. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this guy! He's just vibing! Okay, that was actually really well animated, not gonna lie. He's like Vegeta. Yo, they're fucking- oh! That's his earwax! Oh, they're, the little aliens are trying to help him out! Get that ear gunk out of here! Oh, but they gotta take their lunch break! This is how they get back their nutritions. They dance. Look, this is what happens when you need to take dessert. You vibe. Is that a Kamehameha? Oh, he just deflected that shit. They're playing ping pong. But it's not just like ping, it's like street, street Fighter ping pong. It's like one of those mini games you play. Yo, the free falling? They can control time? What are they doing? Yo, it's him again! It's Vegeta! This is fucking awesome. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I haven't hit anyone dizzy, sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. The vibes. They're on. This is the greatest shit I've ever seen. I'm glad we found this channel. Hello, Mary. Welcome to the stream. We're just watching Aliens Vibe, bro. This is what happens when you chew five gum, for real. This is Vegeta. Oh, shit. Is he transmuting? Yo, they're transmuting the aliens. What are they going to become? This is equivalent exchange. Oh, they become crystals? Oh, 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 oh. We can't see that's too graphic. No, they smashed the... Oh, they, they drink the orb? They drink the orb and they smash the crystal. And then they atomize it into, like, smaller crystals. The message of this video is, is a contraception, yeah. Why is this Mario mustache faded and out of existence? Yeah, beat that shit. He looks like Whitebeard from One Piece. Send me the Maw video, my friends want it. Alright, I'll give it to you after this. Oh, they cleaned the eardrum! That shit popping now! He can hear better than ever! Cause he got aliens in his ear! Ah, oh, this guy's worrying, he's like, ah, oh, nah, I'm chill, I'm vibing. Yeah, give us that smile! Yeah! Damn, why he got tits though? 
throw that shit back in the atomizer. Where would the aliens go? Shh. Secret. This is the best video ever created. Why all that shit in his ear? I don't know. I didn't even realize we were going through like three minutes of this shit. Alright, that's enough. Let's take someone else's suggestion. <laughs> Wait, somebody said we should check out Gemini Home uh, Entertainment? We should do that. We, we, we kind of sidetracked for like 20 minutes into just the craziest uh, Japanese videos ever. But does anybody want this? Here, I'll just put it up here. What's this video called? It's sw it's called Swab Swag Swing Alien. Official video. Uh, let's go ahead and like... Who wanted the moth video? That's not the moth video. This is the moth video. Moth politics. Okay. Here you go. I'll give you the moth. Okay. Let me just take a quick swig, and then we'll check out. Uh, we'll check out Gemini Home Entertainment because everybody seems to want to see that. The Monumentos. I we we saw a little bit of the Monument uh, Mythos. I thought that was kind of cool. We could check that out later. Uh, we only watched like two videos of the Rush, the Mount Rushmore one, and the um, Statue of Liberty one, which I thought was fucking hilarious. Okay. I'll check it out. Somebody said there's also a Unity game attached to this. Has anybody talked about Gemini Home today? Yeah. Next well. Okay. World's weirdest animals. Well, we might as well start with the first, right? Oh yeah. Oh. Am I taking suggestions? We're gonna check out Gemini Home Theater first, and then I'll take suggestions. Yo, Minnesota sucks. Get the fuck out. Cold out all the time. Hot in the summers. <laughs> Minnesota cringe. That was yeah. I'm in Mexico right now, actually. I'm trapped here. These are the cutest fucking pigeons I've ever seen in my life. God, I just want to eat them. They look so tasty. <laughs> my philosophy is, if something. Is cute. It's probably really delicious. Queso? What? How is it without queso? Con queso. Con queso, we. Como que no queso. Or sin queso. What am I watching? What the fuck is this? Is supposed to be spooky? Let's just give me the spooks. <laughs> Goose, shut up. Wait! Alright, alright. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm impatient, sorry. Everywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's like every analog. I know, I know this started it. But the whole, like, oh, it's a normal video, but then... Thing. And I bet after this, it's gonna be like... Na, 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 na. Cuando stream in Spanish, Mr. Goose? <laughs> no, thing! Animal number three. Wood crawlers. 
Uh, can we guys? Can we read bad, like two sentence horror? Uh, and on on Reddit, can we like read bad two sentence horror horror stories? Please, I really would love to do that. Have you seen some of these? They're like so fucking. St- <laughs> What's two sentence horror? It's a subreddit where like people try to make really compelling, really scary horror stories in just two sentences. Like, my mom called me downstairs. When I headed downstairs, my mom pulled me away from the stairs and said, You heard my voice too? Oh. But the thing is, is like, that's really hard. So a lot of people end up having really shitty stories, but they're fucking hilarious. Burn the bodies lest they stand up again. Burn the bodies lest they stand up again. Nature's mockery. It's not really scary when you read it like that, huh? Ooh, that was spooky. I love that. The VHS is haunted, bro. Now let's... I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Don't say anything about VHS, too. So. I'll enjoy. I'll suspend my belief. Sure, it doesn't make sense, but it's spooky, isn't it? Right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is uh, this is very good. Let's just shut up and watch. Probably we'll probably be uh, streaming for another hour or two. I'll say another hour and a half, just to be centrist. <laughs> White people? Oh God, that's the worst kind of terror. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. If I saw this shit as a kid, like if I if I found this video as a kid, I would have thought this was genius, because it really is very effective. I like it. Okay, you gotta get rid of that stupid text. It does not add to the horror. <laughs> this is really good though. Uh, this is definitely better than Mandela Catalog so far. <laughs> Fake friends be like. You guys ever seen that one Boondocks episode about BET? I forgot who the voice actress was for the main villain of BET, but like, she was so fucking funny. She was like, we are trying to find the way to ruin black people. I don't even know how she did it. Number 15, white people. Some say whites are scary, but I don't. They will ride. <laughs> no, well, okay, I won't say that. <laughs> I don't want to make chills into a bigot. That was fun. That was definitely a lot better than. Ma- <laughs> Sorry, I said that. Um, that's definitely better than uh, Mandela Catalog. Is this satire? No, I think it's supposed to be horror. It's it's definitely way better. I I do think it's very effective the way they. Uh, just focus. Like, because, okay, I guess my problem with Mandela, Mandela Catalog was the fact that we went from so many different formats. You know what I mean? We went from, like, PSA to found footage to true crime of, like, a phone call. Then we went back to found footage. Then we went back to a PSA. 
And somebody said in the chat, oh, maybe it's supposed to be like a catalog of, of things, like different videos. Like, But it doesn't make it clear that that's what that is. And even if it was, obviously, there, there are some... My complaint still stands because some of the subjects were still like... It's very jarring that they formatted in different things. Um, but this one I'm okay with because I could see how jarring and how scary it is to just go from, uh, you know... A documentary about birds in Minnesota. Hard cut to a <clears throat> hard cut to found footage film of someone encountering something that they can't explain, like mimics and uh, doppelgangers and whatever. And uh, it's supposed to be like a juxtaposition between what you were just watching versus what is there now. So I think it's very strong in that sense. The Mandela catalog just kept flipping back and forth between the formats. And it, there was more egregious errors with the VHS thing that it really took me out of the immersion. But this is, like, very dedicated to what it is. It never even changed, like... I don't know if you noticed in the Mandela catalog, like... We kept going back and forth from, like, 4 by 3 to, like, 16 by 9 Yeah, like, it, it's widescreen at the very first part. And then it goes back to 4 by 3 And it's, like, jarring. And it goes back to... Uh, look, like... I, I don't understand why it does that. It's really weird. And, and, like... I still think... Oh, what the fuck? I still think this is better. So, yeah. Sorry, that's my cat. Uh, she wants to be annoying. Alright. Somebody said you should check out Mandela Catalog Volume 2. Well, let me check out Eggs 2021 first. Ariel Robinson charged with homicide. They inflicted a series of blunt force injuries to three-year-old Victoria Smith. Smith passed away at the hospital. Badlands, where creatures lurked and watched and waited. We're taking everything! It's an emergency! That ADP. Christopher! What's going on? The Takeds took every last basket! We're not leaving one stinking egg behind. Everyone's a I'm sorry, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what is this? Stolen tonight. I want the eggs back. Helen, please tell me we're not lost. What the fuck is that? It's a shit monster. It's literally from Cogger's Bad Fur Day. That's the great mighty poo, bro. Darren Dillon went. He was considered armed and dangerous. Relative. What, what is this? As an angry, troubled man. Sorry. Wait. Okay. So, on Amazon, April twenty first, twenty. What is this? The whole channel's like this. So what? They 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 splice real movie trailers with true crime horror. Marrying Mr. Perfect. Red Mist trailer? Joseph McAlpin showed no remorse. The 32-year-old robbed and killed Michael Kuznick and Trina Tomala. McAlpin represented himself at trial, gunning down the couple and their dog and stealing cars. To get to be me. And then here's the movie trailer for the thing that it says it is. You just don't get it, do you? You, you do it again. Yes. The gunman, 51-year-old Anthony Farrell, and the name... And then there's more, like, true crime. Six-year-old Dale Hudson leaves behind. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it? Why is it like that? They were glad to see him die. Red Miss commercial is after the news report. Wait, what? I don't understand what what the point of this is. What even are these movies? Probably like really cheaply made, stupid Netflix Netflix. Uh, no, Redbox movies. Here's a video of Shitamachi Ninjo Gek with subtitles and somewhat lost video comic made by Nintendo in Japan. Is it the one where... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. I'll check this out a bit. Pink bitch. All right. Uh, I just want to check this out first before I lose my mind. The first threesome, 2021. Benjamin Mendy. He's been charged with four counts of rape 
Six main. Fucking what? Marrying Mr. Perfect, 2012. Both convicted felons stole his laptop. Shore chased after them, but was hit and killed by the getaway car. Shore Zhang was one of the Bay Area's best and brightest. Colleagues say he was an outstanding researcher with PhDs in philosophy and physics. What the fuck is this? Like, I have no clue. Is, no, I don't think it's an ARG. How many videos has this motherfucker made? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, thirteen, fourteen. So he made fourteen videos three months ago, and then a bunch of others nine months ago. Let's go to the oldest. <laughs> I think it's schizo since it's only black people as killers. I don't think. I don't know. We found Elijah. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch that. Police say this. Officer, you're probably right. Twenty-two-year-old Heather Maples was murdered to indicate strangulation. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. This was uh, this account was made a year ago. But why? I, I don't understand the correlation between uploading a, a movie, a movie trailer, and crime. Like the news report. I don't know. Check the about page. Hmm. Nothing. It's not even like an email or anything. Schizophrenia? I don't know. I don't think it is. It's definitely a uh, poll schizo using the movie trailers to avoid getting their shirt removed. And uh, maybe could be racist. Uh, I don't want to assume, but like you know, every single every single one of these videos starts off with the image of the criminal, and every single one happens to be black. So they're probably perpetrating their own like views let's say without getting too political uh with movie trailers like a way to maybe indoctrinate people of like why they should feel angry about certain things i gotta be honest with you guys um when you watch like any sort of like news reports on like murders or whatever or or if you watch any cop videos man you will not find a more racist comment section than those kinds of videos on YouTube. Because people go fucking off about that sort of shit. So, yeah, I'm not going to get too political. The only politics I want to talk about is moth politics. So, we're going to probably get out of here. Uh, let's check out something else. Check out this true crime video I edited. I have a uh, suspicion about you, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Right here. Year old high school student living in Utica. Oh. Actual death. It's I don't like true crimes though. Oh, I know Bianca Devins. Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna watch that one. But hey, I don't mind you promoting your stuff. Everyone, check out that video. That's super bad. The rapper uploaded. I know, I know, but I don't like true crime stuff. It gets to me. You know, it really. That's why I don't like to talk about true crime stuff on my channel. It really, like, affects me mentally, you know? What's this? Oh, yeah. Click the captions? Downtown Empathy Theater Boss 2 Suspense Series. My arms hurt. Wait, what? Sentenced to 20 years in Abashiri, Arduo was imprisoned. So if you guys don't know, basically back in the day, Nintendo released this like, ooh, it's hard to explain, but this like add-on. So for the Super Nintendo, 
that broadcast through satellite, not radio, but like just through satellite. There wasn't really internet, so they used satellite. And uh, every weekend, they would post like a, a radio drama sort of thing, like video broadcasting. They had to tune in live to actually watch. Um, and they won't repeat it. It's not something you could download. It's just something they had to watch uh, at a certain time. And uh, I remember someone said that these, well, when I was researching it, that these are very, very crude. Uh, I, I think these are really cool. Uh, I wish Nintendo did more of it. This is like a Nintendo ca Mandela catalog. That's right, you're 15. Oh, sorry. You can't see the uh, subtitles. <laughs> oh no, sorry Mary. Uh, I'll check out the um, Pink Bitch Club in a, in a little bit. I know a little bit about the Pink Bitch Club. Goose, you already talked about the really cool Nintendo found footage project. What? Ah, uh, my fucking muscles. Are we gonna break out? I always hide a spoon up my ass. Wow, it stinks so freaking bad. Dude, this reminds me of like uh, Mike Matei's stupid comics. Do you guys know about Mike Matei's comic? Or do you guys even know who Mike Matei is? Brown bricks? Other than that, the. the uh, what was this comic called? El Pollo Loco or some shit? I don't remember what it's called. Yeah, mother motherfucker Mike. So essentially, uh, you guys can read if you want. Um, essentially, Mike Matei made these comics back when he was in college about this like Mexican who just said racist shit. And that was the whole joke. That was the whole joke is that he was a, a loco bandito. You can look it up if you want. If you're not, if you're sensitive to like uh, racist shit, then I wouldn't recommend it. But like, dude. All, all his jokes in every comics was just him, like, the, the, the Mexican character saying, like, the N-word and, like, making fun of people's stereotypes. And, like, there was one comic in particular, like, where he was given drugs. Ooh, and that was so fucking funny. And then his, like, uh, buddy fucked a truck. And he said, haha, that truck was full of N-words. And he, uh, he said, haha, now you have AIDS. And that was the joke. The joke was that he fucked a bus with with people on it, and he has AIDS. Well, anyways, I I don't know. It was, it was really stupid. Mike Montague made some really fucking stupid comics. Uh, I think he apologized, but like on Reddit, so nobody read it. <laughs> Ironically, all right, let's watch Pink Bitch Club. Uh, trigger warning: flash glitch. Here's mostly forgotten spooky video. You need me. All right, I'll check it out. Oh, I love this. Okay, in a bit. Yeah, <laughs> Mike Matei also posted a cockpit. Sorry, let's go back to the vibes. He posted a cockpit to prove his cock was big. Am I gonna get in uh, copyright trouble for this? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this before I re-upload this on YouTube. Hey YouTubers, if you're watching this on YouTube and it's a re-upload, uh, there's a reason why the audio is cut, and there's a weird cut from right now to later. It's because copyright issues. Just uh, just so everyone knows, sometimes I put weird cuts in my videos when I re-up or my streams whenever I re-upload them. So just to explain. Okay, here we go. They made this shit for people to share and watch and shit? Alright. I hope so. Pink Bitch Club. Alright, Mary, go ahead. Explain the Pink Bitch Club lore. I'm just gonna sit back and watch. Look at this pink bitch. The bitch lore. <laughs> oh, maybe we should, uh... Get that out of the way. Oh no, she's depressed. 
Oh, is this uh, does this have t uh, subtitles? Oh shit! Whoa! She's back to being a pink bitch. Look at that, this breast bitch. Now she's a raunchy bitch. Now she's a. Now she's. A, I'm not gonna say it. She's a goth bitch. Oh my god, the eyeballs. Did you guys see that? Oh no! Yellow bitch is dead. She got splatted. Yeah! That bitch kills another bitch and the dog bitch. Is that what that is? I'm gonna watch it again. This time with the subtitles. Minako! Not too long ago, I created a club called the Pink Bitch Club with my friends. Please continue to support us. Yeah, Minako! There's Gyaruko. Here's the goth, Charlotte. Check out the playlist? Okay. I don't know what that one was. Okay, so the pink bitch is sad. Aw, boo-hoo. But wait. Clothes and stuff. I could, I could totally identify as this shit. I just need to murder a bitch. See, I thought the point was that she killed uh, all these bitches and, like, basically took their identities. Because, like, they've been advertising hard on TikTok and it blew up. That's cool. Because, uh, like, oh, because this looks like the robot in the bottom left corner right here. You know, with the headpiece and the dress. She just made it more pink. And then she's, like, wearing something that maybe this girl would wear, but again, more pink. And then she's wearing, like, Charlotte shit. You know? So I'm assuming she, like, is is jealous of their identities. That she just murdered them and took their identity. That's what I think. Oh, look, I mean, they're dead. I'm not really sure why she's depressed here. Like, maybe that's all, like, in her head. Or maybe, like, these people aren't even her friends at all. Yeah, I don't- I don't think they're actually her friends. I think she's just a lonely wreck. Oh my god, Beer's trying to get inside the- the room. Okay, well, we're gonna let my cat in the- Inside the room, so I'll be right back. Oh, my fucking chest! Hey, Beer. Hey! 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 Come here! Come on, Beer! Come on! That was me slapping my ass. If you ever wanted to record that, go ahead and clip it. Beer! Come here! Come here! She never wants to come in. I told you I gained weight! My asshole is bigger than before. <laughs> Show cat. I could do that. Hold on. Oops. I should do, uh, accidentally took a video. Biru. <laughs> gotcha. Mm, boomer. Alright. This is a video, uh, a photo I just took. Oh, hold up, sorry. I wanna put it in the baby corner. Uh, open original. Save image. Put that image right there, and then boom. I don't know why it's sideways. 
that's kind of fucking stupid. Uh, let's rotate it. Okay, that's there you go. It's Biru, everyone. Little baby Biru. She's here. She's right here for everyone. She's just watching me stream. I don't. I, I don't even know why. Why is the camera so bad? I am zoomed in though. Oh, she came in. I scared her. Anybody? Does anybody else scare their cats whenever they like have the opportunity to? This is a really long. This is a really long photo. Sorry, I took like a 4K photo for no fucking reason. Long. Alright. Enough of that. Alright. So, there's a playlist for Pink Bitch, right? No, it's the Skinwalker Kitty. She's not a Skinwalker. When I still did creepy channels, I did paranormal videos. Ooh. That's cool. I'll check it out. Um, okay, wait. Uh, bootleg. Was it bootleg? I think he sent me this. Anybody seen this before? I've seen this like a hundred times. That's the last thing um, the main bad guy of Half-Life 2 said before he died. If he even died. I, I can't even tell. What was that even? Was this for like an ARG? Was there more to this? Because I've always seen this one video but not anything else. I think he just made it for fun, right? Yeah. Who died? The main bad guy for Half-Life 2? I think. It's never really explained. Um, let's check out the bitch playlist. Oh, there's more to this? I haven't actually seen this new one. Again, I'd like to remind anyone who's watching this on YouTube. If there's a weird cut, copyright issues. Here you go. Alright, three, two, one. <coughs> Yeah! I fuck with macarons. I fuck with this beat. I want to touch your feet. <laughs> now, I know Vivinos doesn't really do creepy videos all the time. Um, it, it's actually a group of people. Most people don't know that, is that Vivinos is a, is a, it's a team of people. Some people like doing uh, the creepy stuff. Holy shit, that's fucked. <laughs> It's so good. Some people like doing the creepy stuff. Some people like doing the um, lovey, lovey, dovey stuff. Cute shit. And now I guess they've like combined the creepy stuff with the um, with with the cute stuff. Hang on, there's some shit to analyze there. This is lore. This is lore. So... She doesn't know who she is? Is that it? Oh wait, there's the pink bitch club right there. Is she alone? Yeah. 
It's like only her. Oh, it's on TikTok. Oh, is there actually? I know, uh, Mary, you said there's a TikTok. I didn't think there was actually a TikTok of Pink Bitch Club. Oh, shit. No, I don't think it's that. I, I literally think it's because this character is interested in the pink bitch. But she, because she doesn't know anything about her, it, 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 it shows up with, like, blank images, like, static. Or maybe her, her, or maybe she's, like, really depressed and she has no thoughts at all. And it's, like, clouded by just darkness. I'm actually going to go to the TikTok real quick. Pink Bitch Club. I pointed... Um, why do I have combo fart? Oh, combo fart. Oh, never mind. Pink bitch club six. Oh, they only have 700 followers? What? Wait, when was this uploaded? Two weeks ago, right? How has nobody... There's only 700 followers. How has nobody looked up this TikTok? Huh? That's crazy. They're uploaded on YouTube Shorts. That probably explains it. That's what I'm saying! Okay, see, she's like, she finds her interesting, more interesting than herself, right? See? And that, that like, creepy moment where she sees her, it's like her interest in her... Uh, uh, is like taking over her personality. Which is why she kills her. It's like, like that's the suggestion. She unplugs her and she's dead. Oh wait, what? There was t uh, there were subs. Wait, I gotta get the thing out of the way. Oh. Yeah. She was right. Oh, my arm. Is there anything else? What about the actual subs? Nah, it's just she was right. I think it's a cipher text. Watch the Charlotte one, it's badass. Hmm. That's sad, because it really seems like from this... From this, uh, music video... <laughs> what the fuck is the pink butthole? <laughs> from this, it would seem like she's just really interested in just making friends. Wait, why does that say secret story? Oh my god, I'm going way too back. Hmm. Okay. Well, check out the Charlotte one. If we can find it. Or we just play all. There, I mean, let's just watch the psychedelic one, I guess. 
Because I haven't seen these in a long time. I haven't seen Vivinos in a while. It's a dude's face, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a dude. What's the secret about it? She a crazy bitch. Oh, this is in straight up in Japanese. Yeah, there's no English. Please. There's no English. No. It's just straight up Japanese. Okay. Wayne Yeet. Let's see if we can understand it in Korean. Yeah, sure, that's better. What is this? This is Vivino's project, uh, the Pink Bitch Club. Check it out, it's cool. It's Castlevania as fuck, yeah. Whoa, whoa, scandalous feet pics. Yeah, it's Charlotte. Toes. Stop! Is this even related to anything? <laughs> or is this like a fantasy? Cause it, it seems so, so different from the others. She got a gun! This really seems like every single Vocaloid music video I've ever seen. Was that Sans? I'm sorry. Was that Sans? Oh man, I ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah, oh. skipped it. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw. <laughs> you guys didn't see what I saw. I saw this, this right here. I seriously thought it was fucking Sans. It's just a panda bear. <laughs> Come on, how do you not see Sans from that? Oh my god, Beer is just meowing. It's like, how do you not see Sans Undertale from this? <sighs> is that the dog? I don't understand this at all. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what this is. And I can't tell cuz it, it really seems like Charlotte is so different from the other pink bitches. Yeah, it just looks so different. I I don't really get it. Yeah, I think they just want to give Charlotte something. Yeah. Yeah, and the subs don't help at all. Ah, oh, who knows? Hey, uh, so low. Oh, 
Ah, oh, fuck off. Oh, God. By the way, the subtitles are in Korean. There is no other... Yep, there's no... None. <laughs> That's fucking horrifying. How old are these girls, Goose? Why the fuck are you asking me? Add the translation if you want. Only if it's important. These are really well animated, by the way. What, they have an album? What the fuck is this? A book? Alright, here's the lore. Here's the lore. Yeah, it really does seem like jealousy. Yeah, I I really I really don't think they're actually friends. Yandere stalker type, yeah. I don't think they're friends at all. I think that's what she's projecting to be. I think that's what she wants out of this relationship. Whatever relationship they have, I don't think they're really friends at all. So, that's cool. We caught up. We watched uh, the other one. I think Friday. Minako's Room? Yeah, we watched both of these on Friday. We didn't watch the rest, but I, I really do like this whole story they're telling now. I like it a lot. Uh, it, 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 it omits a lot of things that gets me just curious enough to stick around for it, you know? Fake people. Alright. But anyways, I like it. Alright, what else do we have? We have a few that I haven't even checked out. Bootleg gave me another thing. Creepy GM Tower Easter Egg? Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a weird creepy Easter Egg I found in Lobby 2. Oh my god, did anybody else go to Gmod and, and like find these random servers where people built actual movie theaters? And like, like, like malls? Did anybody else? They weren't like really big malls or anything like that, but they went to like great lengths to make these cool ass movie theaters and when you went inside the theater it would literally be people just watching memes and, and YouTube videos on on the the theater projector it was so fucking cool oh oh that, oh, that was so fucking cool it was good times there would never be anything else like Gmod ever again that's sad. Oh, maybe they're... You know what? I'm not gonna say that. that. That makes me sound like a fucking old fart. I have faith in the younger generation that there's gonna be even 
better things in the future. Yeah, sometimes people will just fucking upload random shit like porn or gore, yeah. Bad gay porn. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. No, Gmod, playing Gmod alone in the middle of the night was, I don't know why, but it, it was like the scariest shit you could possibly do. I have no explanation for it other than it's like uh, unnatural. <laughs> There's something oddly strange about Gmod when you just play it alone, and, and it's something that I can't even explain. You know what's even creepier? When you download a mod for Gmod, and you installed it wrong, or you don't have the proper game installed, like the game files, and it just pops up as, like, purple. You know, like, purple uh, checkerboard. What is that? Does that say anything? It doesn't say anything. Oh, what? That shit, that, that, that shit used to creep me out. purple it says sus <laughs> sick of this shit this is an odd header I don't believe this is an odd header odd header does like real shit he doesn't do like fake paranormal junk oh wait I no you're right odd header did do this And then the video stops with like a shadow of someone like hanging, right? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I don't. Is it real? I don't think this is real, right? I I really doubt. It looks like something completely fake. This got a lot of lore about this. In short, this video is kinda real. From what I remember, the creator of this map was planning on doing some sort of event showing off spooky stuff. This was kind of a trailer for it. There's a photo proof of that white board being in the map under normal play, but nobody knows what it did if someone was to interact with the board. Why didn't they just recreate what he did? Like fucking small potion, big potion, whatever. That's, that's, uh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, my arm. And here's Odd Hatter. You're fucking right. I'm sorry. I, I thought that was fake. Wait, is it, did he actually transport? So the map is real. No, this is recreated, right? It's not actually a Gmod Tower. Jump scare? That's fine. Oh. The whiteboard was removed before people knew about it. Okay. Yeah, and there's the jump scare. I mean, whoever did this, they did it really well. But it, it really seemed like when he clicked on the whiteboard, it, it, it seemed like he transported to like a different game mode. And it wasn't GM Tower anymore. Or I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was. Okay. You know, it's funny. I was just talking about... Huh, is Commander Collection Green worth it? I'll check that out. <laughs> I was just talking like 10 minutes ago. Talking about how there's not going to be something like Gmod. But there is already something like Gmod. Just not Gmod. It's uh... What's it called again? The VR shit. Oh man, what is it called? VR... VR chat? Is it VR chat? Yeah. Yeah, VR chat is basically Gmod. Um, just without, you know, the whole creation thing, whatever, but who cares? Hey! Anyways. 
VR chat, I mean, somebody could easily create this in VR chat now. They could absolutely do that. I think that would be a fun idea. Somebody please do it. I think that'd be so fucking fun. VR chat is so tame. Are you kidding me? I just saw a video last month of someone going on VR chat and they were just called the N word like 20 times <laughs> because he had an accent. It was great. <laughs> no, it wasn't. But no, somebody should absolutely recreate this. Do people still run in small knuckles saying, do you know the way? Probably, probably boomers. VR chat is kind of its own thing. I personally would compare it. All right. Yeah. I still would want uh, uh, another Gmod. Even if you don't consider VR chat that, I still would want one. Reddit user catches EVP on his camera. Someone will try to sniff you? What the fuck? The main theory I've seen about the board did uh, was either it did nothing or it teleported you to a different map. But send the picture on Discord. Alright. Oh, wait. I forgot. We're going to do two sentence. Uh, bad two sentence horror stories, right? Let's do that. Considering that his sister doesn't even know how to do something as simple as sending a video file to someone or even Google it, I doubt she would even know how Oh, wait, did I skip the audio part? Oh, yeah, it was the beginning. I literally didn't hear anything. Alright, fuck it. Alright, let's do two sentence horror. I'll just put you guys in the baby corner. Uh, man, Gemini Home was a lot better. I really would like to get into that more later. Get rid of this. We already watched Agon Agonemnum Counterpart. Is that the one with the fucking loud video? I hate Aghanim counterpart. It's so fucking bad. I don't like it. I really, I really personally do not like it. It's just a loud video. Ooh. Ah, whatever. Anyways. Or is there more to it? Is there more to it? Is it like an ARG? Oh, whatever. Anyways. Two sentence horror at it. Goose, will you ever speak on the topic of Travis the Champ a Chimpanzee? Is that the one that tore... That lady's face apart, and now she doesn't have a face anymore. Ah, sorry, guys. I worked out yesterday. My fucking muscles really hurt. So if you hear me in pain, that's why. Ah, oh, she hurts. Yeah, I, I I really do not like that story. I fucking hate it when people have exotic pets. That shit's stupid. Most of the time when people get exotic pets, they have no idea how to take care of it. You know that fucking monkey was, like, under a lot of drugs? For, like, any time he got antsy or, like, a little bit too noisy, she would get drugged up with, like, the strongest depressant pills ever. Ugh. Then there was another case where this motherfucker had an exotic pet. He has that he had a tiger for a pet, and he never told his neighbors. And that fucking tiger got on the loose, and he was that tiger was about to get shot by a police officer. Cause of course that motherfucker doesn't know any better. What the why the fuck a tiger in the middle of the suburbs? Ugh, asshole. He didn't get shot, but it's so stupid. All right, well here we are on Reddit, Reddit.com. Oh, a skinwalker scream. I love this skinwalker scream shit. I got Reddit over here, don't worry. So we 
just heard it scream a little bit ago. I don't know if I can, I don't know if you can see past this, but so behind this where I'm pointing right now, there's... The Mountain lions sound like skinwalkers. Why is everything a skinwalker? Because TikTok dictated it to be <laughs> skinwalkers. So there's nothing that's back there and it's protected, so I don't know. People just want a name for mimics. And they don't want to call it a mimic because that's not as scary. Where we're at now, and from that, I don't know what you would call this, but there's a pasture right here with a bunch of trees. You can't really see them. I can't hear anything. Like, I can't hear, like, a skinwalker. Right there, that's a fern, and then there's a bunch of other ferns all around. I mean, it gets more dense as you go back. But what happens is this creature comes up against these, this fence, and it jumps this fence. And it was standing, we think, right in this where I'm standing right now. And my friend's inside right now. I'm getting this footage. And... Uh, did you just fucking hear that? That yeah. was fucking it. What the fuck? Wait, hey, hold on, hold on. Our first part. That first part. Sounded like a mountain lion. And then... <laughs> that was a straight up Bowser's laugh. I'm gonna hear that again. Also, <laughs> I love these thumbnails. He looks so uninterested. <laughs> That's great. Alright, let's listen. And it was standing. We think right in this where I'm standing right now. And my friend's inside right now. I'm getting this footage. And uh, I'll pop on the volley for you guys. Did you just fucking hear that? That was fucking it. Fuck this, I'm out. It's inside right now. I'm getting this footage. And... Did you just fucking hear that? That was fucking it. That's, a, that's absolutely fucking Bowser's laugh. That sucks. If it was the first part, okay. Mountain Lion, or maybe a Skinwalker, I don't know. Well, that was just straight up Bowser's laugh. Alright. Let me show you, like, Mountain Lion scream. They scream like motherfuckers. They scream <laughs> so scary. Big Biru, basically. Scream again. Come on. Oh, <laughs> just taking a little nap. Okay. Good night. You better not scream. You better not scream, little buddy. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Good night. That's just cute. First part though wasn't really cute. Then you gotta scream like that though. They just want attention. Alright. Two cents horror. Let's go. <laughs> so let's uh first uh, let let's see what let's see what this subreddit actually considers scary like good because this has seven thousand upvotes so it has to be really good right as I grab my boyfriend's hand I notice how cold it had become sighing. I went to reheat it in the microwave. Oh, whoa. Oh, I got... <laughs> hang on. I got the perfect song for this. Um, chills. Uh, 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 spooky music. What is that? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's, that's a little much. Chills. Uh... Background music. Here you go. Here it is. No. 
No. Kind of, but no. You know which music I'm talking about. No. Skinwalker idea. Thin creatures that can morph and shift their bones. Well, I mean, that's what they are. Aw, oh, come on! Where is it? Is it this one? No? Is this? Yes, it is! Okay, cool! <laughs> okay, cool. Now we can read these stories. Number 15. Okay. As I grabbed my boyfriend's hand, I noticed how cold it had become. Sighing, I went to reheat it in the microwave. Okay. My phone lit up with notification. Martha22 is, is six miles away and wants to chat. Followed by an indecipherable string of emoticons I can only assume are meant to be lewd. Martha, or whatever the hell this thing was decided to call itself, has been chasing me for three weeks, and I hope to God I never find out what it wants to chat about. Okay. I'm finally ready to give birth. I've been pregnant for six years now, and I'm terrified of what's inside of me. Didn't we just talk about how childbirth is like the worst fucking thing in the world? They put your guts in the bucket? Ah, uh, whatever. Let's actually... Let, uh, these guys are trying, okay? But let's, let's look at something that's like... Okay. This week? And... Oh, what? Don't they have like controversial? Hot. What? They don't have controversial? No, they got rid of the fucking hook. Ah! I like the controversial ones. They always had like, uh, can't we sort this by like. Oh, new, 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 new. Yeah. Let's do it. New. The new ones, man. We gotta give some love for the new ones. Alright, let's go. We finally discovered alien life. It came in the form of millions of desecrated corpses raining down from the sky. That's actually, you know what, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna give that an updo. That's not bad. I, I kind of like that. Like the imagery. I'm not going to kill myself over a job that will replace me in a week. The rest of the clones watched as 1575B disintegrated and 1575C swept up the ashes before finishing his shift. Maybe I should zoom in. It's kind of hard to read these. I nervously smiled to myself for outsmarting the enemy like this. But then, from the bottom of the mound and through the limbs of the bodies, I see them dowsing the other piles in gasoline. Okay. Is there any way to sort by, like, horrible? Okay. There's not. Absolutely surpr- Oh, wait, what the fuck? This is a fucking ad! <laughs> After- After being unconscious, my kidnappers- Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck? That's loud as shit. Okay. Make your own two sentence horror and post it. I come. <laughs> it came out blue. Dun 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 dun. dun. Why does it always come with me, man? I don't know. Oh shit.
All right, that's enough. Number 12, cock. Oh, good. This one has zero upvotes. <laughs> Somebody actually downvoted this. Okay, cool. This is good. Let's, let's, let's see what this one's all about. I found you. I heard my son exclaim gleefully after searching for me in the basement. You think I would be that easy to find? I thought until I heard my own voice coming from downstairs. What? Wait. Her son said that, but then she heard her own voice downstairs? Oh, it's because the- oh, the son. Damn. That's deep. I gasped, his hand in mine, sobbing, crying that I didn't want to die. I woke up in the morgue, completely alone, wishing I was still in the coma. You're in a... You're... Are you dead? Why... How are you crying if you're dead? What? I gr... Okay. When I was given these superpowers... Oh shit, sorry. Off center. When I was given these superpowers... I was told to serve justice and help the innocent. Oh, this is not safe for work. What the fuck could be the big reveal? But after crushing that litter's head with my foot, I had to admit that was a lot more fun. Litter's head? Well, why, why you gotta choose a litter? <laughs> this is a... Says a lot about society. I am legally required to tell you the previous owner died in this house, the real estate agent said. I just hope they don't open the attic door and find us up here. Sorry, I realized that this shit was loud as fuck. Uh, okay. Well. I must have swallowed a fly. That was my first thought as I felt a tickle in my throat. But as the other spiders began to scuttle up my legs, appearing from nowhere, I started to suspect something more sinister. Okay. Well. I heard a heavy snap as the bear trap stabbed into my leg, causing me to stumble and fall into a ditch. I held my mouth shut as I lie in pain, while whatever was following me ran past on all fours. That wasn't too bad, I mean, but got zero. <laughs> got zero. <laughs> Someone downvoted this, they hated it. Yeah, me too. When we vowed until death to us part, I didn't realize how seriously my husband would take it. I watched this horror. I watched with horror as he approached, still wearing the suit he was buried in. You kind of saw that coming, didn't you? <laughs> Zoinks. Uh, uh oh. Oh, 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 what's this one? This got 187 votes. At first, it was fun reading the two-sentence horror story subreddit, laughing out loud so much it brought tears to my eyes. But it's been four hours since I started laughing, and even though my, my voice is hoarse, my throat is parched, my cheeks are aching from the pulling of my stretched smile, and my diaphragm is convulsing in heavy, sharp waves, I can't stop. Like Scoob! Oh, shit!
All right, that's enough. Uh, okay, we'll just might as well just leave it at Kevin Le McLeod. Or McLeod, whatever his fucking name is. All right. What else? If anybody wants to find one, a good one, you can hop on the, the Two Sentence Horror subreddit if you want. <laughs> Last week I laughed so hard at Eric Andre that I shit myself. That's a, that's a real Two Sentence Horror right there. Who watches Eric Andre? I'm just kidding. He's funny as fuck. Uh, once you've done with this, here's another spooky video covering something that may or may not be real. Fuck it, let's go. The Gary's Mod Easter Egg and Facts Number 9, the G-Man Virus. Eric Andre's not doing NFTs. It was a joke. I saw the tweet. It was just a, a joke tweet. Oh, sorry. I forgot to, uh... Oh. Okay. Getting infected was as easy as joining a server. I think I heard about this. Is this real? Is this actually real? Because this sounds real as fuck. Jews. Is this- wait. I want to know if this is real or not. The virus I remember the most is the cough virus. <laughs> may or may not be real. No proof either way of it being a hoax or real. Hmm. People infected with spam that without any ability to stop, it will lead them to infecting another people, uh, other people and making a chain of unbinded tech spams. It was also a leak thing, also. I mean, someone could break into your Steam account, but I don't know if that's real or not. People made posts about it back in the day. Kind of forgotten, but I still remember it. I thought I thought it was going to be a bit funnier. I remember there was this... Um, it wasn't a virus, but I remember... I, I either had a dream about it or it was real. But either way, I remember there was something that was like... Somebody had a virus in their computer... And every, like, it would be random, like, every 20 minutes or every 60 minutes, they would hear somebody go, <coughs> Is that it? I, I just remember, <laughs> I just remember something, it was like a fucking dream or something. I remember something like that. Dude, oh man. Why does it feel so surreal thinking about it? Is there vids on it? No. It doesn't... It, this doesn't seem to be the description I'm thinking of. My muscles are fucking aching, so I might have to end the stream soon. It's lay down. Eh. Eat. It was only recently I've become obsessed with finding proof of the afterlife. 
I own come this close to reviving my last subject to ask what they saw, but I guess it is on to the next one. What? Does anybody read this? It was only recently I've become obsessed with finding proof of the afterlife, question mark? I own come this close to reviving my last subject to ask what they saw, but I guess it is on to the next one. Oh, here's the cough virus. Oh! Oh, is that how it worked? That's not what I'm thinking about. That's fucking funny, though. That's hilarious. Who the fuck just coughed in sl slow motion? Wait, what? Look, listen. <laughs> fucking... Nah, but that's not what I was thinking of. There is this... I don't know. I must have had a dream about it or something. But in my dream, I was, like, thinking that there was an actual virus where if you, like, clicked on a chain email, it'll just download this thing and it'll just be hidden... It'll be hidden inside your, your, your computer forever. And every now and again, you just hear audio of someone going... <coughs> I seriously, like, is that real? Or is that not real? Because I feel like it is, but it's not. Number 13. Like and subscribe to Goosebuzz's channels. That sounds familiar, though. Yeah, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it sound like a real virus? Like, even if it's not a cough, I swear there was, like, a virus where people downloaded something accidentally. And just like a file would be hidden in their computer and it would just play a random audio where it just good. <coughs> you know? Doesn't that sound? Whatever. Anyways, guys, my muscles are getting sore as fuck and I feel horrible. Mudahar probably know about that, maybe. If I could ask him, I would, but I don't have a Twitter. My muscles are getting sore. I'm getting a bit sick. <coughs> The G-Man virus could be real as uh, supposed data of the G-Man virus was around at the time of the call virus. Maybe. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here. It was a good stream. Two hours, 30 minutes. Why not? I uh, hope you guys had a good time. Oh, let's find out who we're going to raid tonight. Who, who's on Who's on Twitch? Have a good one, Goose. Hey, no problem. Who, who's on, who's on oh, what the fuck? That's me! Anyway... <laughs> Uh, who's streaming right now? Who's someone small? Let's do someone small. Lizzie Doodle? Who is that? Oh my god! Yo, this person got the cutest... They got the cutest fucking YouTube! Look, 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 look! They got the fucking cutest... <laughs> That's adorable! Look at them! Alright, let's raid her. I hope I can raid her. I know some people don't like raids. Anyways, be respectful, be loving, be kind, and tell her Goose sent ya. Okay. Oh, it's in subscriber only chat. Oh, it's follower only chat. Well, eh, still, just give her some views. And if you follow her, hey, you can, uh, you can chat. Okay. Anyways, guys. Love you guys a ton. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting me and all that junk. And I'll see y'all later, yeah? Alright, guys. Love you a ton. I'll see you Wednesday, tomorrow. Um, I'll probably be streaming the, around the same time. If not four, then five or six or seven. I don't fucking know. You'll know. Just follow me and you'll get a notification. Alright, guys. I'll see you later. Good night, everyone. Bye.